it's your girl Risa coming to you guys today with another macaroni and cheese video. Welcome everybody, new and old. Those that don't know whether you want to stay or not, hey, happy Thanksgiving. And to those that don't do Thanksgiving, happy Thursday. It is thankful Thursday. You still got a whole lot to be thankful for, y'all. Yes, we do. All right, so we're going to get to this video. Two and a half pounds of elbows or macaroni shells, whatever you call it. I got three cups of milk. One cup is evaporated and two whole milk. I have um, some six slices of Gouda cheese. I have six slices of provolone cheese. And um, I have a whole stick of butter, some black pepper uh, in here. Okay, this is my sauce. Right here, I have eight ounces of cream cheese that I'm gonna add to this. We're gonna break this up first. Nice and hot. You want it to be hot so it will melt that cheese mm -hmm. and butter. So while the cream cheese is, is cold, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and add it. And I may put on some gloves and mix it in. Mm -hmm. Let that one start um, melting. Okay. Yeah, keep it on that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this all mixed together. Spoon, we're gonna whip that around in there. Let that sit and start to get soft. Let that heat hit it and soften it up. Let it start to melt. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I got some triple cheddar. I'm gonna put this whole bag. This is two cups, and I'm gonna do. You can get it. Get it. Actually, you can't whisper with the camera right here. <laughs> Sorry. I was, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to whisper. Ashley is the camera person today, y'all. She about to get fired. She got a demerit already. <laughs> I was doing good. So here's the macaroni. Macaroni. all mixed together. Oh. <laughs> all right. I can't quit laughing. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> she just saw something funny, guys. I got to get myself together. We'll get it together. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for laughter. Oh, my goodness. I'd rather laugh than cry. Whew. It's good <clears throat> medicine. Come on. All right, so we got that somewhat mixed all together. We're going to go ahead and start adding our milk. And then we're going to... Got all of that. Mm, mm, mm. This is how you make macaroni and cheese, people. If you don't, if you beg to differ, to each his own. 
everybody got their own special technique. You know? I feel a little better, so I'm able to uh, be the cameraman today at least. I don't know how long, but know I'm, I'm going to make it work. That was starting to work me. I hope it's enough macaroni and cheese. I thought about boiling some more and put in here. But I don't know. I need all of this to be covered. All of this to be covered. Don't want nothing uncovered. Ooh, look at that. Don't want it too wet. Mm -hmm. Don't want it too wet. Mm -hmm. Spread it out. Spread it out. I think Get I need some more, some more elbows. On the top. What you think? I beg to differ. That's what you think. I think I need some more macaroni in here. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be gone real quick. Oh, well. Yeah. That's why people gotta get here at what time you can't pull up? Well, no, don't do too much. Mm -mm. Looks good. I like her nerves. She was supposed to agree with me. Well, you asked me. Yeah, but I, she was supposed to agree with me. <laughs> wow. She's supposed to agree with me. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me get a can open. Okay. What is that you're adding now? That's uh, evaporated milk. Okay. Y'all, my baby got her fatigues on. She's ready for, she battle. Ready for battle. Yes, sir. She's going down. I got my potato salad already mixed. Um, now I got to do my turkey, my ham, I got to put together my dressing, make my, um, banana pudding. And I think that'll be it. And cut up the chitlins and hog mouth. Oh, yeah. See? He ain't gonna let me <laughs> Definitely. He is not gonna let me forget that. I was had to tell the start early because I knew how it was gonna be, but I'm a helper though. Best way I can. Cooking the greens right now, fam. I'm just getting started with the greens. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the triple cheddar. Let me wait. I'm gonna use the mild cheddar. Mm, that's gonna be good. And I saved about a cup, just in case I make another batch of, a small batch of macaroni and cheese. Because I can use all my gouda and my provolone. It just won't have any cream cheese in it, which is fine with me. I don't even know what time I woke up this morning, but it what, was early. Well, yeah, but what to say? I woke up. Thank you, Lord. There it is. Okay. So here's my macaroni and cheese. It's getting ready to go in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour on 350. Okay. And I'll be back to show y'all a picture of my finished product. Okay, guys, here's the macaroni and cheese all done. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all for watching.